All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores, and we have a lot of big updates to discuss today. This is technically like a summary of all of the injury updates or any other important quotes that Ron Rivera has made for the past couple of days. So, you know, I usually break down everything that went down in practice days 20 through 22, but I feel like we need to focus on just the injury updates and also very important updates like Sam Howe, how long he'll play against the Ravens in this third preseason game Saturday at 7 p.m. Also, most importantly, probably the main reason most people are coming to this video is to break down Antonio Gibson being our starter kick returner entering the regular season and again we're just going to do all of the major injury updates from the top of the roster all the way down to the bottom and any other important press conference interview quotes from ron rivera throughout the past couple of days there's a lot of guys returning that we can be optimistic about and then there are some guys where we'll have to kind of wait and see and before we dive into all of that make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get notification immediately and every time i release an informative and opinionated video just like this one make sure you pull up every friday to the broadcast podcast where we talk about literally everything as long as it's funny we discuss it sports music anime gaming whatever and then make sure you pull up every sunday for the call in show where y'all call in every sunday 6 p.m voice your opinions about the commanders positive or negative or if you have any questions to ask me again like i always say any comments that you leave on videos that i just don't get a chance to see a lot of the time make sure y'all pull up on sundays and call in and ask those questions and without further ado let's get it All right, so first of all, let's start with probably the biggest news, and I mean, not necessarily the most shocking, but the most okay. This this is a this is a different thing right here. Ron Rivera spoke on if Antonio Gibson will be the team's top kick returner this season. He said, "quote You still need to see some more stuff, but you know, I think he is. I do. I think he's done a nice job." Unquote. So Antonio Gibson is our starting kick returner entering the regular season, which is a crazy turn of events because at first it looked like it was a battle between Alex Erickson and Dax Milne and Antonio Gibson has surpassed those guys but I mean like I've already said Antonio Gibson if we're talking about potential if we're not taking health into a factor if we're not taking in the fact that we don't want certain guys on special teams because of how important they are to the offense honestly our best kick returners are a mix of Antonio Gibson Curtis Samuel and Jahan Dotson punts and kickoffs but Alex Erickson and Dax Milne have roles because we don't want to risk a lot of those guys to further injury but now that brian robinson and i don't necessarily think it's antonio gibson's fumbles i think it's more so brian robinson looking like a capable every down back passing game running the ball all of that type of stuff and he's improving as a pass blocker they feel like they have the freedom to allow antonio gibson to do a lot of the things that truly make him special which is get him out in space on offense like he showed in that second preseason game against the chiefs where he looked like the best player on the field when he was out there with the backups and even against the ones even with the stars starters he got open against a safety or a linebacker like quite easily Carson Wentz just overthrew him to the sideline and so now with Brian Robinson being able to shoulder a lot of the running duties of course Antonio Gibson is also going to be a very important part of the run game as well like I keep saying you let Brian Robinson be Mark Ingram you let Antonio Gibson be Alvin Kamara but what's really interesting is that Antonio Gibson is a better athlete than Alvin Kamara that's why we could utilize him on special teams kick returning and all of that type of stuff again Antonio Gibson's fumble didn't help but I feel like even if he hadn't fumbled at all this preseason or training camp this entire offseason I feel like this was inevitable because he's a great punt returner and again most importantly they're comfortable with what they seen from Brian Robinson to be able to let Antonio Gibson do a lot of those things and granted it will put him in harm's way a little bit more but at the end of the day you also have a Brian Robinson just in case that can show to the load but of course ideally you have both of those guys available and then if you're getting the most out of Antonio Gibson you're putting them out in space to make plays that's in the passing game and the kick return game remember before we drafted him coming out of memphis 2019 he had 23 kick returns for 645 yards and a really good touchdown against smu and even coming out of the draft i felt like whatever we can get from him receiver or running back wise is extra but at the very least he should be a really good returner and then 
his rookie season, we released Adrian Peterson because we felt like Antonio Gibson was ready to get a lot of snaps at running back and be an important part of the offense. So we never got to see him kick return and stuff like that at the NFL level for us. But coming out of college, that was what he was probably best at and most known for. And Nate Caxer, our special teams coordinator, even spoke on it just a few days ago about how he was really excited when we drafted Antonio Gibson and thought, okay, we have a game-changing kick returner, punt returner, all of that type of stuff. And then once we released Adrian Peterson and Antonio Gibson became a more important part of the offense, he lost his special weapon. And I'm just super excited because again, if health is not a factor, Antonio Gibson is one of the best punt returners, one of the best kick returners on this team. If we're talking about athleticism and making guys miss and vision, I feel like just in general, running backs just make for better returners than wide receivers, especially if you have a running back that's as explosive and quick and agile as an Antonio Gibson. Granted, he is he used to be a receiver and he's converted to running back, but that increase in vision, I feel like that's more important than speed a lot of the time. Being able to read the blocks and know which holes to hit and how to maneuver through traffic, I feel like that's more important than any type of quickness. And, you know, he can work on the hands. The hands are only getting better. Again, he did it very well in college. At the NFL level, I have good faith that he can not muff punts and things like that. Ron Rivera even spoke on that situation. He said, Gibson is getting more and more comfortable on kick returns. He, he said, quote, when you watch it on tape, you see him circling the ball, getting under it, making a good catch. It's something he did well in college, and we're pretty excited about having him do it, unquote. So Ron Rivera is very high on Antonio Gibson as a kick returner and I am as well man that can be a game changer I like Jahan Dotson occasionally on punts and then maybe you have a Dax Milne or Alex Erickson being your primary punt guy but on kick returns I think Antonio Gibson should definitely be a top guy like Ron Rivera has basically announced even though it kind of came out as like a simple answer to a simple question in a press conference that's easily the headline from everything that Ron Rivera said today and then we got to go through a lot of injury updates first of all Trey Turner who hasn't practiced since July 28th, is finally back on the field. He returned yesterday, and granted, he's only doing individual stuff. He's not doing any team stuff, but it seems like they're trying to get him ready for week one of the regular season, and I highly doubt he will play against the Ravens. And then Fedarian Mathis was riding the bike yesterday. Remember, he limped off the field on Tuesday with some type of leg injury. We still don't exactly know what the leg injury is, but he's basically just been on the bike, and hopefully he'll be ready by week one. Benjamin St. Juice returned to the field yesterday as well so it looks like he should be ready to go now granted Ron Rivera has said that the starters will play like a very small amount against the Ravens in this third preseason game and I'm expecting Benjamin St. Juice to be one of those guys and he should definitely be ready by week one of the regular season but overall yesterday wise all of the guys on the side field included for Darian Mathis running back Jonathan Williams of course tight end Logan Thomas but we're going to speak on him a little bit later then you had tight end John Bates tight end Cole Turner tight end Curtis Hodges wide receiver receiver Kyrick McGowan and Nolan Laufenberg as well but then later on in practice yesterday Logan Thomas went out there in seven on sevens in team drills and he got a huge applause from the defense shouts out to the defense for showing him love because he is a game changer and having him on the team having him in the offense involved and all of that definitely makes our offense better and the defense definitely realizes that and he's only going to help our chances of winning and John Com even spoke on Logan Thomas and said that he should be ready to go by week one week two at the very very latest but I could definitely see him me as Enrico of three scores can see him at least playing week one and maybe being on a pitch count but he definitely looks healthy and ready to go and then in those seven on sevens yesterday he ran a lot of routes and looked really good doing it didn't look bothered by his knee or nothing it didn't look like an injury ever happened to him that's great news granted he didn't catch anything but he was out there maneuvering maybe they told Carson Wentz not to target him so that he wouldn't even chance getting hit or anything like that but he's out there running routes and looking good doing so and again like I spoke on either yesterday or the day before that Logan Thomas looks and they even checked it with some type of way of measuring it with statistics and things like that he is more explosive now than he was before the injury that happens sometimes some guys suffer crazy leg injuries and then come back faster quicker stronger more explosive than they were before they ever even had the injury and apparently logan thomas is one of those cases which is great to hear because logan thomas has never relied on his athleticism to be effective so just adding a little bit more explosion to his game is only going to make him way better i'm very excited about this season i think this is the season where he finally gets recognized as a top eight tight end around the NFL and also before we get to more injury updates Ron Rivera also spoke on the fact that he really wanted to hold some joint practices with another team I completely agree 
Rico of Street scores, man. I super would love some joint practices. I think it only helps. It's basically like having a couple of extra preseason games. It really sucks that we weren't able to coordinate one. And I think we were originally supposed to coordinate one with the Bills, but then the whole JD McKissick situation happened, and that's probably what killed the whole thing. I think we're honestly putting ourselves at a disadvantage when we don't hold joint practices because a lot of teams are. But moving on, wide receiver Cam Sims is in concussion protocol, so highly doubt he does anything against the Ravens but i think he should be ready by week one against the jaguars also josh drayden was on the side field keith ishmael was not practicing so i don't even know what centers we have left at this point to be completely honest with you and like i mentioned earlier ron rivera did say that the starters will play but will be very limited against the ravens in this third preseason game so probably not even an entire quarter but ron rivera does still want to see if some things are worked on especially like third down defense we got to at least get a little sneak peek a little glimpse on if there's been any slight improvement on third down defense but for the most part this is going to be a show for a lot of the backups to go out there and show what they can do and for guys to try to make the team but we're going to discuss that in greater detail a little bit later but even Cornelius Lucas when he had his press conference yesterday they asked if he felt any discomfort from his injury or illness still and he said quote I'm as free as a bird unquote so Cornelius Lucas is 100% ready to go we don't have to worry about him and then Ron Rivera in his press conference today was asked about Sadiq Charles and he said that he knows that it's a lot to ask of Sadiq Charles to take snaps at three different positions but he feels like the 2024th round pick has had a really good camp he had a really good game against the Chiefs blocking too starting at left guard because with all of the injuries as well the reason why we say three positions you know he's always been like this tweener between guard and tackle even though it looks like he's going to end up being a better guard at the end of the day but he's also been practicing as the center sometimes Rivera said that he's basically been showing this positional flexibility and you know Ron Rivera loves his positional flex type of stuff he said quote the more he knows the better it will help him in his game unquote and that's a good point too because if you learn how to play center that helps you be a better guard you learn to play tackle that helps you be a better guard and vice versa all the way around it, it only makes you better Juan Rivera also spoke on the fact that Carson Wentz and Terry McLaurin are finally getting their timing down he said yesterday's practice was quote a pretty good showing of it unquote he said that at times their timing has been perfect which is great to hear because you remember that Saturday night practice at FedEx Field and even some training camp practices he just couldn't seem to hit Terry McLaurin no matter what they tried so the fact that not only they're becoming more consistent but at times it looks like perfect time and that's very encouraging especially going into the season because we need to start off hot we play some lesser teams even though none of these teams are easy that we go against and there's some must win games early because if you can't beat the Jaguars how do you expect to beat a lot of the tougher teams like the Packers and the Browns and our division rivals but again that's really good news to hear that Carson Wentz and Terry McLaurin have gotten really close to their chemistry finally matching up and being more consistent also in sad news injury wise Cameron Curl left practice today and had to head into the team's facility but nobody knows what happened nobody asked Ron Rivera after practice what happened to Cameron Curl so we'll see I'll keep you updated on that and then today for Darian Mathis wise another update again his injuries with the leg but Ron Rivera didn't give any specifics on what's going on and he was basically just on the side field today and then at some point headed back to the facility with a trainer just like Cameron Curl and then Ron Rivera also had a few more really interesting quotes from his press conference today speaking on Cole Turner and his injury affecting his regular season potentially he said quote so anything else and speed more ways than one because as I said yesterday we had a couple of guys that you know against Carolina the speed really caught them off guard but then you see them pick it up against the Kansas City Chiefs game so with Cole what you hope is that he gets it already he's gonna play fast and be used to everybody else playing fast around him unquote and that's a good point man when it comes to Cole Turner I'm not really worried about how effective he's going to be especially in the red zone but as a rookie like that NFL speed is different and, and it's really hard to replicate that in practice so that Jaguars game may hit him in the face and catch him off guard pretty bad to an extent he may not be as effective as we want him to be maybe the entire game against the Jaguars or maybe until later until he like finally understands the NFL speed that's a real thing Jamin Davis dealt with that all last year 
here for an entire season. But at Cole Turner, first of all, the way he's looked in practice and also with him being a tight end, who was basically a former just big receiver, I think he'll be just fine. But again, don't be surprised if Cole Turner doesn't look like the Cole Turner we remembered during that first half against the Jaguars in a few weeks. Ron Rivera also said that Saturday will be a big opportunity for Sam Howell, and he's going to get more snaps than he's received in the first two preseason games. So I'm hoping he plays at least a half. I think that would be great. I want to see as much Sam Howell in the preseason as possible. Again, Taylor Heineke's cool, and he's obviously QB2 right now. But we already know what we have in Taylor Heineke. Of course, getting them reps so that he's ready and warmed up just in case something happens to Carson Wentz. But at the end of the day, I want to see Sam Howell out there as much as possible because, again, we already know what Taylor Heineke is. I highly doubt he's going to get any better, and then there's not even that big of a chance that he would necessarily get any worse. He's just going to be Taylor Heineke. Sam Howell, in, in contrast, these preseason snaps could be gold to him and expedite his whole development process. You never know if something just might click the more snaps he plays against the Ravens. We'll see. But Rivera said that he wants to see Howell continue with his preparation. He has done a good job of absorbing information, but now he has even more of a spotlight to show what he can do. And I'm really excited, man. Sam Howell. I hope, I think, is going to play at least a half against the Ravens. I'm really excited. And then lastly, Ron Rivera had a simple message for players who will be seeing heavy snaps against the Ravens. He said, quote, make sure you're ready, unquote. And he basically reiterated that this final preseason game is an opportunity for the younger players to show the team what they're capable of. They have watched plenty of film and taken advantage of the extra chances to get treatment. So they should be prepared for the moment. There's still some roster decisions that need to be made. So Saturday night is the last and best moment for for a lot of these players on the bubble to secure one of those last couple of spots and Rivera also spoke on the fact that every year it doesn't become any less easy to make these tough decisions first of all just roster wise we have a lot of guys that you'd really like to keep and it's just very competitive but then on top of that release of people just sucks in general Rivera said that they will need to have several tough conversations by Tuesday to tell some players that they will be released remember the deadline for the 53 man roster will be Tuesday by 4 p.m. he even acknowledged the fact that some players will get opportunities with other teams and some will not of course they'd hope that some of the guys can make it to the practice squad and stay on the practice squad just in case but we'll see and he said that basically if there's any solace to take from the moment it is that Rivera knows that each player gave everything they had over the past month but yeah man that's the end of this video please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video especially Antonio Gibson being our starting kick returner to enter the regular season also Sam Howell potentially getting the majority of the snaps against the ravens i'm really excited about that and then all of the other major injury updates that i provided and of course man please like this video if you like it if you learn anything and as always i appreciate all of the support man shouts out to all of my sponsors especially my pro bowl sponsors name you see scrolling on the screen right now i'm gonna catch y'all later i'm out